Hi, this is Jeff Schiller, and I'll be describing the new features in the latest release of SVG Edit version 2.3. For those of you who didn't catch the first screencast, SVG Edit is an open source vector graphics editor that works in any modern browser that natively supports SVG. This includes Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Chrome. The latest release of SVG Edit sports more than just a new logo. This release brings some powerful new features, features that you would expect of a first class vector editor on your desktop. So let's launch the 2.3 demo. Probably the most significant new capability that SVG Edit brings is the ability to actually load and save your work. SVG Edit now comes with a source editor, which means you can save your SVG files to your hard disk and then paste them back into SVG Edit and continue your work. Another important addition to 2.3 is the ability to construct arbitrary polygons or connected line segments. There's a new polygon tool and you just collect to your heart's content and generate a new shape. To close the shape, you click on the first node that you created. If you want to leave it open, you just click on any other point. Polygons can be moved around just like any other object. They can be resized. They can also be edited. If you click on it again, you'll see the points that you've created. And then you can move around these points and get your object just right. Every object in SVG Edit can now be rotated. You can do this in a variety of ways. You can drag rotate the handle. You can use shift left or right to rotate it in five degree increments. Or you can interact with the spinner at the top to enter some arbitrary angle. And the final major feature in SVG Edit 2.3 is the ability to pick linear gradients as fill or stroke paints instead of just solid colors. If we click on the fill, we'll get the color picker, which now has two tabs, the solid color tab and the linear gradient tab. In the linear gradient tab, you're going to move the begin and the end stops around. Position them just the way you want. You're going to change the color of each stop. And you can also, of course, change the opacity of each stop. Which I'm going to do here down with the slider at the bottom. There. I've got a nice little highlight for the button here. Another nice addition in 2.3 is the ability to clone items. So we select as many items as we want, we hit the clone tool, and we have a copy of that button. If you want fine-grained element navigation, you can use Shift-O and Shift-P to move around the object tree. This is helpful when objects are obscuring other objects. Compared to desktop vector graphics editors, SVG Edit still has a long ways to go, there's no doubt. But already, pretty sophisticated artwork can be achieved. It's also important to remember that SVG Edit runs directly in the browser, with no plugins required. This means zero install hassle for users. You don't even need a bleeding edge browser. Any SVG-capable browser released for the last few years will just work. Thanks a lot.